Welcome to this Functional Skills Level 2 English Training video. This video contains information and guidance on Criterion 13. Identify implicit and inferred meaning in texts. In this video, we will cover the difference between explicit and implicit information and look at how to answer inference questions. At Level 2, and by the end of this session, you should be able to Understand the difference between explicit and implicit information. Identify key clues in a text that suggest implicit meaning. Use context to infer meaning from given information. And analyze the use of specific words and phrases to determine implied messages. Let's discuss the difference between explicit and implicit information. Explicit information is information that is stated clearly and directly in the text. You don't have to guess or read between the lines. For example, overhead, the sky is blue and the sun is shining brightly. With this information, we can explicitly answer the question, what color is the sky? The text clearly states the answer. The sky is blue. Implicit information is information that is not directly stated. You need to use clues in the text to understand it. This is also known as inference. For example, she shivered as she walked through the door. The question asks what was the weather like outside? Although the sentence does not explicitly state that it was cold, windy, or raining, you can infer that it was, because the word shivered has been used. Remember, explicit is clear and direct, whereas implicit requires reading between the lines. Pay attention to descriptions and actions that suggest a hidden or implicit meaning. Let's look at some examples. They clenched their fists and turned red. How does the person feel? The clenching of the person's fists suggests they are angry. They also turned red, which supports this idea. A long walk has created a buzz among film fans and critics alike. What does this suggest about the movie? Describing the movie as creating a buzz implies that it is popular. Let's move on to using context clues. Context clues are hints within the text that help us work out the meaning of unfamiliar words or the text's overall message. You may need to read around the quote or sentence you're given. This means you need to look at the sentences before and after the information. Let's look at the example. After a long day at work, they sank into their chair with a sigh of relief. How did the person feel? We can infer that the person was tired and needed to relax because they had been at work all day. We know this because of their actions. They sunk into their chair and sighed with relief, which is something a tired person might do. Please note that marks cannot be awarded for responses based solely on learner knowledge. They must refer to the text. Let's move on to examine how a writer's choice of words can help us to infer meaning. Writers choose specific words to create a particular effect or to hint at something deeper. For example, good morning they grumbled. The word grumbled implies the person is frustrated. Good morning, they yawned. The word yawn suggests the person is tired. An article states, this book is sure to capture your imagination. What type of book has the author written? The phrase capture your imagination implies that the book is fictional as imagination is not generally needed for non-fiction or factual books. Here are some top tips to help you answer inference questions correctly. Read the text carefully. Start by reading the text thoroughly to understand the explicit content. Look for clues. Use the clues from the text and your background knowledge to think about what might be implied. Highlight any details that stand out or seem important. Consider the context. 
Look at the surrounding sentences and paragraphs to help you understand the clues. Think about what the text is trying to tell you and what it is about. Analyze the word choice. Pay attention to specific words and phrases used by the author and think about why they were chosen. Draw conclusions. Based on the clues, make an inference about the meaning of a word or phrase. Check plausibility. Ensure that your inference makes sense within the context of the text. Here is an example book review text. Pause the video while you read the text in question. Press play when you're ready to continue. Let's take a look at the question together. Look at the first paragraph in the text. The writer describes the journey home as a novel that will tug at your heartstrings. What is the writer suggesting? This question is worth one mark. This question is asking us to infer how the book will make readers feel using the quote tug at your heartstrings. This phrase makes the reader feel emotional and is often used to show a connection with a topic. Because of this, answers could include The book is very engaging and emotionally moving. The story will draw you in and make you feel strong emotions. And it will be both interesting and touching for readers. Please note that learners will not be awarded marks for rewording or copying any quotes used in the exam questions. For example, if a learner had responded to this question by writing, people's heartstrings will be pulled. This is an incorrect response. The learner has not demonstrated that they understand what the text means. Now it's your turn. Look at the second paragraph in the text. The writer mentions that the author Emma Collins has a knack for crafting scenes that feel incredibly real. What does this imply? This question is worth one mark. Pause the video while you write down your answer, then press play when you're ready to continue. Let's look at the possible answers. The phrase, has a knack for, suggests that Emma Collins is very skilled or talented at writing realistic and believable scenes. Scenes that feel incredibly real implies that the descriptions in the book are very vivid and lifelike. Finally, because the scenes feel incredibly real, we can imply that readers can relate to the scenes in the story. Here's the next practice question. Pause the video while you read the text and answer the question, then press play when you're ready to continue. Let's take a look at possible answers. Sarah discovers information that makes her question her identity and background. And the secrets she finds make her rethink what she knows about herself and her family. Let's recap what you've learned in this video. You should now be able to Understand the difference between explicit and implicit information. Identify key clues in a text that suggest implicit meaning. Use context to infer meaning from given information. And analyze the use of specific words and phrases to determine implied messages. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.